this is our multi-sensory tutorial. Um, students make some big decisions in these things. This is our first station, it's our no community station. We have this burlap rope attached to a tree and students can take a Polaroid and hang it of themselves showing they are the roots and that they will be attending a life group or at least bringing a friend. This is our baptism station. Students will take these black rocks and place them in the casket representing their old life and how it's been buried and they will take a shiny rock representing their new life that's been raised to walk. After each station, they take a card to the cross signifying that they've taken a next step. This is our station that deals with repentance and students here take a piece of fruit that's fake and they write a very real sin on it. They pray over it and ask God to help them walk away from it unlike what Adam and Eve did in the garden. This is where we deal with forgiving others. Students take these cloths and they write things that have been done to them that they need to forgive others for like Jesus has forgiven them. They hang it and walk away and offer forgiveness as they've been forgiven. This is our 3 a.m. shout out room where we set up a room that students can give a 30 second shout out to someone who's been there for them, even if it was at 3 a.m. in the morning. And then we put it on social media for them. The big two is where our students can sign up to go to our two biggest events of the year. And then lastly, we have a testimony where we actually teach students how to write and present their testimony. It's really important whenever you are doing these events that you explain each station very clearly. We generally start ours off with a student sharing his or her testimony. 